You mentioned Don't Say, Don't Say Content, which is an awesome podcast. Everyone should go listen to it. I'm curious, and this is a selfish question, uh, considering we're on a podcast right now, like what has worked well for you in sort of promoting and growing it? And how do you even think about kind of the value of the podcast? Like why are you even doing it in the first place? Yes. So there were two things that we did right in the beginning. One was we did look at the market and say what's missing. We didn't just have an idea and say, wouldn't it be neat? We really looked at like, where are we wishing we had content and finding this gap for marketing leaders? We're like, everyone's talking about tactics on podcasts, but like, who's talking to the leadership challenges of marketers? Um, and that's where we get on the topics of like, how to get CEOs and marketers to get along, right? It's like, those are the types of quest- of challenges that um, folks at that level are having that we didn't feel represented in uh, a marketing podcast. Second thing was we started with the two co-hosts have strong networks. You know what I mean? It was like we already had built credibility and that was part of it. That was a strategic move. It's like you want the water to flow down river. And so the way that our strategy, our execution strategy worked was, you know, going into the launch, we literally emailed like a long list of people. And we're like, hi, friends. Will you, you know, we're launching this thing here. We have a newsletter capture. So we like let people sign up for the, the um, to be notified when it came out, which was the foundation of our newsletter list. Um, we did it on Substack because like, I didn't know what the fuck else to do. Who cares? I think it's like, I shouldn't be using that platform anymore, but I, it's, I'm too lazy at Good the moment. Enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then it was really like, um, just posting about it. So like, we were very deliberate about like, Hey, will you support our podcast coming out? Like let people know about it. Will you, when you say something nice, we're like, can you just put that on the reviews? We got lots of reviews early on. And then, you know, obviously posting before we were posting on like Instagram and I was like, we're trying doing a TikTok experiment. And it was really like, we post on LinkedIn, people listen to it and, and our, our audience continued to grow. And so it was really leaning into those two things where it's like we had, we we're covering stuff that nobody else was covering. We were two people who had good reputations in the space we're operating. And we marketed, I mean, you've seen our posts, like we're kind of goofy sometimes. Like we put weird no, clips great of character us. in the podcast and everything. Like it shines through and people want to like listen to people and not like robots on a screen talking about content. No, it works really well. Yeah. Yeah. And like posting clips from, you know, our, uh, like the B side clips where one of us is saying something stupid or we're making fun of each other. It's like all of that creates this like really pers- uh, this uh, perception of us as like human beings that I can connect with who understand me and then finding ways to incorporate the community, even if we don't have guests. So going out and interviewing a bunch of people and, you know, including them in the podcast or like I'll look at LinkedIn posts sometimes and reference them in a podcast, you know, shouting out our friends, like, and then eventually the word of mouth starts to spread, right? It's slow, but I think once that starts to happen to the outside world, you start to look bigger than bigger than your britches, right? Um, and so it's like, okay, I think we have like, I forget what it is, like a hundred and something downloads per in the first day or week. Okay, you know what? Don't quote me on that because now I always forget what it is. But it's like, we're growing. It's not like, moonshot growth but it's like we have been continuing to grow to us it looks like slow and steady wins the race you know um but it is consistent totally and each listener is so valuable on a podcast youtube i mean it's way more valuable than a blog read or anything like that because you're in someone's ear you know talking and to it's them. so cool like we were talking to um audience plus the other day and they're like one of the women on the call she's like oh i love your podcast i listen to every episode and it's like you know, that's that helps in other conversations where, you know, right now what we're looking at is, you know, we got some early inbound sponsorships, which is great. Now we're kind of looking at, like, can we do more partnerships to help grow at a sort of more meaningful pace, like tapping into other people's audiences and, you know, doing more of a trade on promotion and that type of thing to sort of get access? Because now we know the podcast is good. Like we know people like it. And so now it's like, okay, it's just exposure. We're still figuring it out, but that's where we're at right now. 